Hey guys, it's Zachary Joseph Frito, and we have a 15 minute ab workout all about the core. All you need is yourself and a positive attitude, so give yourself a big smile right now because you're going to love this workout. Give it a thumbs up and please be sure to click that subscribe button if you're new here because we got new workouts all the time coming your way, so stay in the loop. That subscribe button really helps me create more content, so subscribe and let's get this workout started right here, right now. We'll start seated with your feet hip distance, arms in front, just roll yourself down, vertebra, vertebra, all the way back onto the mat. Have your feet parallel hip distance, fingertips behind the base of the head, and then we'll start with just a little warm up set. So we're just gonna curl and lower. So every time we lift, think about keeping your elbows really wide and lifting your head and shoulders high off the floor. So it's lift and lower, lift and lower. And with that chin, you want it slightly tucked. So have your eyeline looking through, curling and releasing. Coming up and down, up and down. So 15 minutes, now that may seem like a lot, but it goes by really fast, trust me on that. So we're gonna be done in no time. You're gonna be like, what just happened? So bear with me, lift and lower, lift and lower. It goes to four and three and two and one. Let's bring the knees in tabletop position. This is the exact same thing. So we curl, lift and lower. Again, keeping those knees right underneath the hip, up and down. And then try to avoid over tugging on the back of your neck. Just the light fingertips behind you. Exhale and inhale, taking it up and down. And eyesight's looking through kind of the shins where your toes are. And let me tell you, I can already feel it. I can already feel it. Lift and lower. Up and down. Curl and lower. Let's do four like this and four. Curl for three and two. And then the leg straight to the sky, just point flex, point flex, and curl up and down. So just getting that nice release of the hip flexors, legs straight to the sky, lifting and lowering. Again, this is just warm up. <laughs> Lift and lower, curl and release. High and low. Focusing on the breath. Lift and lower. Yeah, let's do eight like this. Finish eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, and two, one, and down. All right, feet hip distance. I want you to hold the curl here, extending arms, and we're gonna reach side to side. So taking those fingertips to the sides of your ankles, but try your best to lift your shoulder blades high off the floor. One and two. One and two. Side to side, side to side. So now we're working a little bit more obliques as we reach over to one side and alternating back and forth. You can really start to feel it now. One and two. One and two. Perfect. Now I love doing ab workouts because I know I feel it right away and I like kind of feeling the soreness. It just makes me feel like I'm working out hard. But if you don't are if you don't get sore, that's totally just like genetics. And, um, you, a lot of people would be really happy to have that. <laughs> so don't worry if you're like, I don't feel nothing. Uh, you still are working these muscles. You're just a little special. You have good genes. Four and three and two. One, and then rest your head. Arms by your side, bring the knees to tabletop position. You can take your hands in a small triangle and place them underneath your tailbone if you need. We're gonna alternate tapping one toe to the floor, bring it back to tabletop, take the other leg, tap, and then bring it back. And then just tempo that. So we tap, tabletop, tap, tabletop. So one toe at a time, we alternate. Now you don't wanna go too low where your low back comes off the floor. So just make sure that your lower back is like glued into the floor. And tapping the toe, tabletop, tap the toe. If you do want to make this more challenging, lift your head and neck shoulders off the mat like me, or you can rest your head onto the floor as seen right here. Also, if you want to make this more challenging, you can take the foot farther away. The farther you tap the toe from your hips, the more engaged the core is going to get. So if you really want to make this harder, tap farther away 
the toe from you. And y'all are probably like, where is the easy option? All I've been saying is how to make things harder. <laughs> there is no easy option. Hard work because all about persistence and fighting through the pain, the good kind of pain. So again, if you do want to make it easier, just rest your head. But that's the only, only option I got for you. I got lots of options to make things harder, which is great because you can always come back to these workouts and progress and make it harder. Tap, center, tap, center. All right, let's do eight and seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one, and lower. Good, let's straighten the legs out nice and long. So my legs are straight. Cross one ankle over the other. Fingertips behind the base of the head, and we'll do a full curl again. So it's a lift and lower. So this time, with the ankles crossed, really again, press heavy into the floor, lift and lower, curling up and down. Small tuck of the chin, and again, you want your eye line kind of looking through. Lift and lower, lift and lower. One and two and three. And four, keep going. So I do have some good news. That has been five minutes, so we got 10 minutes to go. Now, I don't know if I should be telling you this. That's why I don't really have timers in my workout videos, because sometimes I feel like when I work out with timers, they get the best of me, and I kind of like, I don't know, I just, sometimes I like not knowing. Is that what you think? Would you like to have a timer so you know how much time is left? Or are you like me, just like, do it, and when it's done, it is done and you don't have to worry about it. Because sometimes when there's a timer, I just all I think about is like, okay, 10 more minutes, 10, nine more minutes, eight more minutes, you know. So I don't like to work out with a timer, but if you do, I will totally put a timer in for the next workout. Give me eight and seven, six, five, curl for four and three and two. In one and reset. Nice arms by your side, bring the knees back to tabletop position off the floor. And then I want you to curl that neck shoulders, take the arms, palms down, we're gonna do 100 prep, signature move. So inhale two, three, four, exhale two, three, four. Inhale two, three, four, and exhale. Option, you can have one hand behind your head as you pump the arm, or you could rest your head onto the mat at all times. Exhale two. Three, four, inhale, two, three, four, shh, 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 inhale, two, three, four, and really think how high can you lift your shoulders off the mat, exhale, shh, 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 inhale, two, three, four, and strong pump of the arms, in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, <laughs> inhale, two, three, four, exhale, you need two more like this, two, two, three, four, exhale, one more, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, and knees to chest, good. All right, keep the knees into your belly button, lift your head, neck, shoulders, extend your legs out, and reach the arms behind, pull in for two. So we extend for two, knees in for two. Lengthen long, and then pull the knees back in. To modify, rest your head on the floor at all times. I'm just focusing on lengthening the legs and arms at the same time. So we reach for two, pull in. Lengthen out, inhale. Exhale, look at the toes, and then look at your belly button. Look at your toes, and then look at your navel. Four more, four, bring it in. Three, bring it in, two more, two, in, lengthen, and in, rest your head, legs to the sky, lift your head, neck, shoulders again, hover the arms, 100 legs to the sky, so it's inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, to make this easier, just go back to bent knees, or just rest your head on the floor. Remember, those are options. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Shh, shh, shh. Inhale, exhale. In, two, three, 
four, exhale, can you lift one inch higher? Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, shh, shh, shh. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, give me four like this. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, three, one. Shh, 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 shh. Two, two, three, one. Shh, shh, shh. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, and knees to chest. Woo! Rock your back side to side. Have your feet on the floor, hip distance again. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Now we're gonna take our right arm, we're just gonna reach it to the side. So it's same arm, same ankle, but now individual. So we go side, back to the head. Side, back to the head. Reach, reset. Reach, reset. I think we're going up and over. Side, center, side, and center. And every time, you want to think about going up and then back down. Curling up and then back down. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Eight. Seven. Six. All over to the side. Five. In four. Three. Two. I want you to pulse to the side. Pulse one. Two. Reaching to the side of your foot, lifting higher and higher. That's it for eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Take the other hand, other side. Go side, back to your head. Reach, so same move, just opposite arm and opposite leg. As you reach the same arm, same leg to the side, back to center, side, and then again, same rules apply, lift up and then back over. Lift up and back over. I cannot believe it is January 2021. Oh my gosh, you guys. I still feel like it's, uh, like, well, I still feel like it's 2020. I still feel like it's like 2018. I don't know, I feel like I am living in the past. I still feel like I am 20 years old. I should reach and lower. But 2021, 2021 is upon us and we're gonna make it such a good year. I have a really good feeling for the world, humanity, everyone. Some positive changes I feel like are gonna come through and uh, let's just make it as best as we can this year all together. Let's just be kind. Let's all just be really nice to people. I feel like there's so much anger and hate and division and let's just all focus on being nice to one another. All right, let's pulse it out. I am making you work for this one and two, one, and two, so taking that pulse, reaching it over, side, side, lift, and lift. One, two, one, and two, give me eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one, rest the head. All right, knees in tabletop position, then take it to the sky, lowering the diagonal. Let's lift the head and shoulders. Let's go into those 100s in that diagonal position in three, two, one. So it's inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. To modify, go back to knees bench or legs in the sky. That diagonal position just makes it more challenging. Inhale, two, Three, four, exhale, shh, shh, shh. Inhale, two, three, four. You're gonna have one hand behind. This is the last set of these 100. Exhale, shh, shh, shh. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Get lower with the legs, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four. All right, let's need four to finish this. In four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. Three, two, three, one. Two, two, three, one. Last time. Inhale, two, three, four. Right away, tabletop bicycle twist. Opposite shoulder, opposite knee. So it's side to side. Lifting the shoulder blades high off the floor. Think about twisting one side at a time. Alternating one and two. We are so close to the finish line. Side to side. Exhale, one. Two, one, and two. Twist, twist, twist. Get those elbows as wide as you can. You want to lift your shoulder. So it's the shoulder that's going up over to the knee. One, 
and two, focus on the breath. All right, it burns. Give me eight and seven, six, five and four, three, two, one, and knees to chest, rock back side to side. I felt that, I felt that. Let's take your legs to the sky, glue them together, lift your head and shoulders, reach one hand up and over as you alternate to reach the ankle. So one, and two, one, and two, reach, reach. One hand can be behind the base of the head as you alternate side to side. Think how high. Can you lift up to the ceiling? One and two. One and two. Reach, reach. We are in the home stretch. The home stretch. So finish these really last bits of the workout. Strong as all that you got. Lift. The end is near. Up and up. One and two. Four. Eight and seven and six. In five, four, three, two, one. Last move, lower those legs. Take your hands by the side or underneath your tailbone and hold. Hold it, just hold. Lift the head, neck, shoulders. You're in this kind of like half boat shape. We're just gonna breathe. If you wanna make this really hard, extend the arms. Lower the legs, lift the shoulders down and eight, seven, Six, lower, five, and four, three, two, one, and knees to chest, woo! Have your feet on the floor, give yourself a little big branch release, that feels really nice. Come all the way down, and give yourself a round of applause, you snatched it. Thank you guys so much for working out with me, it means the world that you guys are here exercising, getting those workouts in with me as your coach, and uh, just awesome work. I'm feeling it, my abs, everything's burning. You're gonna feel it tomorrow, or maybe you're feeling it right now. Uh, but be brave enough to share this workout with someone, maybe someone you don't know, get the word out there, and let's just build this community up. So uh, leave me a comment what you wanna see next, how you're feeling, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, share this workout. Give the value of a workout to someone else. So. I will see you in the next time. Bye.